Welcome everyone to Game 6 of the 1975 World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati took a 3-2 game lead over Boston after taking Game 5 in dramatic fashion when Diego Segui overthrew Carl Yastrzemski over at first base in order to bring in Ken Griffey in the winning run in Game 5. We are back at Fenway here on October, 22nd, or October 21st, 1975 for Game 6 of the World Series. In real life, Boston won this game 7-6. to six. Can they do it again and tie the series, or will the Reds win the 1975 World Series tonight? Well, let's go down to the field. Oh, but before we do, though, make sure you watch all the way through, and when the image pops up randomly somewhere in the video, be sure to tell me what time that showed up, and if you're the first one to do it, I will pin your comment at the top. But let's go ahead and go down the field, get our starting lineups and our umpires, and get this game underway. Your starting lineups for the Cincinnati Reds for Game 6 here at Fenway. Leading off and playing third base is Pete Rose in right field. Batting second is Ken Griffey. Playing second base, batting third is Joe Morgan. And behind the plate, cleanup is catcher Johnny Bench. First base will be Tony Perez. Left field will be George Foster. Batting 7th and playing shortstop is Davey Concepcion. And center field is Cesar Geronimo. And batting ninth is the pitcher for today's game for the Reds, Gary Nolan. For the hometown Boston Red Sox, leading off playing first base will be Cecil Cooper. Batting 2nd at 2nd will be Denny Doyle. At first base will be Carl Yastrzemski. Behind the plate, batting cleanup is Carlton Fisk. Center field is Fred Lynn. Third base is Rico Petroselli. In right field, Dwight Evans. Shortstop, Rick Burleson. And on the mound today for Boston is the colorful Louis Tiant. Tiant hasn't had a good series yet. He's hoping to, to find that winning combination here in game six as he takes the mound for the Red Sox today. Your umpires for today's game. Behind the plate, Satch Davidson. First base is Art France. Second base is Nick Colossi. At third is Larry Barnett. Down the left field line is Dick Stello. And in right field is George Maloney. Let's go ahead and get this game underway as Pete Rose steps into the box to lead us off. 2 3 3. Pitcher an ace or a star. No, is the batter a slugger? He is not. And he's going to fly out to center field to start today's game. Next up will be the right fielder, Ken Griffey. 2-3-4. There's no runners on base. Is he a hot batter? I'm going to say he's neutral since he hasn't had an at-bat today. <laughs> In actuality, he's cold, but he's going to pop out to the third baseman anyway. For out number two. Next up will be the second baseman, Joe Morgan. 1-2-6. Is he fresh? That's going to be a line out to second base for a quick 1-2-3 inning for Cincinnati. We'll go to the bottom of the first base, or bottom of the first inning here in Boston. Leading off for Boston will be the first baseman, Cecil Cooper, who took the series off in Cincinnati. 1-5-5, is he a home run king? No, and he's going to fly out center field for out number one. That'll bring up the second baseman, Denny Doyle. One, three, four, gold catcher. I believe Johnny Bench is gold. Oh, or is he semi gold? And the decider die says no. Is the batter a champion? No. We're going to have an outfield drama check. We're going to look at the center fielder. Is he gold? That is Geronimo. I believe he is. Yes, he is. And that's going to be a sensational diving catch for a flyout. We're out number two, and we're going to go to a team chemistry check for Carl Yastrzemski. Cincinnati is semi-harmonious, and Boston is semi-dissonant. So Cincinnati is riding high with the lead coming in here to Boston. Boston a little dissonant after losing two or three games in Cincinnati. 2-4. Is the batting team harmony? No, they are not. We're going to go to another plate drama check, or outfield drama check. 
This time, 1-6 is the right fielder, Stoic. That is Griffey, and he is not. So he's going to make a diving play for a line out. Four out number three, so two sensational diving catches for the Reds here in the bottom of the first inning, and we go to the top of the second with Johnny Bench set to lead us off as Bench steps into the box. Guys down, Tiant, Tiant ready to deliver. Three, four, four. Is the batter is the pitcher prospect? No. Is the batter patient? No, he is not, and he's going to pop out to the second baseman. For the first out, as Tony Perez steps up, still looking for our first hit of the ball game. Two, two, four, pitching at home. Yep, and he's going to pop out to the shortstop for quick out number two. And George Foster next up to the plate, hoping to get something going. Two, six, six. He's going to fly out to right field for the third out. So still hitless in this ball game as we go to the bottom of the second inning. And the first uh, the left fielder, Carl Yastrzemski, coming up to the plate here in the bottom of the second. 3-5-5. Five, five. Pitcher struggler, no. Is the batter champion? No. And he is going to ground out to the second baseman for out number one. Center, or um, catcher, or I'm sorry, that was Carlton Fisk. So let's do that again. 3-5-5, five, five, struggler, no. Champion. Sider Dice says he is a champion, so he's going to double to left field in actuality. Forgot to put Yastrzemski on the bottom, so Fisk with a leadoff double. He's been tough out this series as Fred Lynn steps up with runner in scoring position. 4-5-5. Four, five, five. Is pitcher flash? No. Is batter home run king? No. That's going to be a ground at the first base, but that's going to move Fisk over to third as we have run out one out now with runner 90 feet away and the third baseman Rico Petroselli see if he can get him in 225 is pitcher star yes he is that's going to be a ground out to the pitcher so Nolan is going to hold Fisk over at third base as he tosses over to Perez for out number two and it's up now to Dwight Evans to bring in the Fisk from third base, 4-5-6. Is he patient? No. He's going to fly out to center field. So Red Sox get one on base and in scoring position, but can't do anything with him. And it is we are still scoreless going to the top of the third inning. As a shortstop, Davey Concepcion comes up to the plate. 1-2-5. He is going to ground out to the third baseman. First out, Red's still looking for their first hit as the center fielder Cesar Geronimo comes up. 1-3-6, ace, no, whiffer or cold, he is a whiffer and he's going to strike out. We're out number two, so it's up to Gary Nolan to see if he can get things going. Not an easy out, not a hard out either. 2-3-5. Pitcher Wild, no. Is he eager? No, he is not. And he's going to end up grounding out to the second baseman, Doyle, for out number three. So Reds going down one, two, three. They can't get anything going as we go to the bottom of the third here in Fenway, game six. And the shortstop, Rick Burleson, will be stepping into the box. Boston with one hit today. Red still with none. One, two, five. Is he patient? No. And he is going to ground out to Rose over at third for out number one. That'll bring up the pitcher, Louis Tiant, here with one out to the bottom of the third inning. One, two, four. Does he have control? That is DB control, so he's going to ground out to the shortstop. Concepcion, and then Cecil, Cecil Cooper is going to ground out to the shortstop as well. Nolan has that DB control, so two quick outs to Geronimo, and we go to the top of the fourth inning, still scoreless here in Fenway. And Pete Rose coming up, looking to 
jump start this game here in the top of the fourth. Rose has been a hot batter this series. We need something from him now. Two, three, six. DB control or dynamic? No. Is pitcher batting? No. Rose is going to lead a, a draw a leadoff walk for Cincinnati's first base runner of the game as Ken Griffey comes up 0 for 1 on the day with a pop out to the third baseman. 3, 5, 6. Are they the same? Righty on lefty? No. Is he utility or side sack? No. He's going to single down the line. Pete Rose is stoic. He's just going to hold up at second base. So Rose was a, with a base hit to move Pete over to second base. And we have runners at first and second here with nobody out. Second baseman Joe Morgan coming up to the plate, lined out to the second baseman his first time up. One, four, six. Is he flashed? Side eye says yes. Is he a good eye? No. And Morgan's going to strike out for out number one. Johnny Bench will be up next. Popped out to the second baseman his first time up. Two, two, six. He's not going to be hit by the pitch. Is he the cleanup batter? He is. And that is a home run to right field. Johnny Bench is the cleanup batter. And just like that, Cincinnati is up. Three to nothing here in game six of the 1975 World Series. Cincinnati celebrating as they have just taken a three to nothing lead here in the top of the fourth inning, still with one out. And Tony Perez up next, popped out to the shortstop his first time up. Three, three, five. Is the pitcher wild? No. Batter sad sack? No. He's going to single to right field keep things rolling here and Louis Tiant has struggled against the Reds unlike in real life I think he won his first won his games against the uh, against the Reds in the World Series so far he's lost every game as George Foster steps up to the plate still with one out here in the first two five six is he a struggler he has not given up three in a row so no champion or patient no that's going to be an infield drama check 1-4, is the first baseman iron? I don't believe so because, yes, he is neutral. 1-4, no. That's a makes play for an easy ground out, and that's going to be a double play as we go. We'll do a 3-6 double play. As Perez is cut down at first, Yastrzemski gets back to the bag for out number three, but three runs for the Reds as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. And set to lead us off as the second baseman, Denny Doyle flew out to center field and that sensational grabbing, uh, diving catch by Geronimo. One, three, five, that's gonna be an umpire check with bases empty. Two, two, do we have a respected umpire at third base? Larry Barnett is semi-respected. The cider die says yes. And a sharp liner dusts the foul line. Fair batter on base with a single. So Denny Doyle with a leadoff single here in the bottom of the fourth inning. As Carl Yastrzemski steps up next. He flew out to right field his first time up. Doyle is a neutral runner. Bench is gold, semi-gold. Do we try a hit and run here with Yastrzemski? They're going to try it. they got nothing to lose. One, four, six. Is a pitcher flash? No. Is a batter a champion? No. He's going to ground out to second base, but that's going to move Doyle on over to second as he was on the move. So one out here in the bottom of the fourth with a runner on second base and Carlton Fisk up to the plate. He's been Boston's hot hitter this series. Let off the bottom of the second or the bottom of the second inning with a double. Couldn't come in though. Two, four, five. Is he a hero? He's not, and that's going to be a pop out to second base. And we go to a player experience check for Fred Lynn, who is semi-prospect. Gary Nolan is full icon. 5-6, icon pitcher. Yep, fools batter with an off-speed pitch and a sky-high pop-up to shortstop. Inception brings it in, and Boston strands another runner in scoring position as we go to the top of the fifth inning. Reds up ahead three to nothing. Both pitchers are now semi-fresh after four innings of work. And top of the fifth inning here, Reds up three to nothing. We know Boston can score them in a hurry. 
as they showed in the last game. And Davy Concepcion comes up to the plate, grounded out to the third baseman his first time up. 2-2-5. Two, two, Pitcher a star? No. His batter slugger or a sad sack? No, he is not. He's going to center. There's single to center field. Active steals. He is semi-active. Decider die says yes. We haven't used the decider die yet. So Concepcion is going to single and then promptly steal second base. So Reds quickly runner in scoring position as Cesar Geronimo comes up, struck out his last time up. Two, four, five. Is he a hero? No, he is not. And he's going to pop out to second base. Denny Doyle for out number one. And we go to a player experience check for Gary Nolan. Nolan grounded out to the second baseman his first time up. Let's see. Do they go ahead and sacrifice here? They're going to go ahead and sacrifice him over if they can. And they do for the second out. Concepcion moves over to third base and Pete Rose coming up to the plate next drew a walk and later scored on the Johnny Bench home run runner in third at third here with two outs. 2-2-6. Two, two, See the cleanup batter? Nope. He's going to fly out to left field to end the inning. So nothing doing for the Reds as they get one in scoring position. And we go to the bottom of the fifth inning here in Fenway. Reds up 3-0. Rico Petroselli set to lead things off, grounded out to the pitcher his first time up. Boston needs to start getting some things going in a hurry. They don't want to fall behind too much more. Two, three, six. DB controller dynamic. Yes. And Petroselli is going to ground out to the pitcher once again. And Dwight Evans is going to follow suit with a ground out to the second baseman. Or to the shortstop. Sorry. For out number two, so two quick outs. And Gary Nolan with that DB control. And he's hit it a couple times today. Rick Burleson coming up next. He hit uh, was out to Pete Rose at third base his first time up. 366. Is he a pinch hitter? No, and he's gonna fly out to center field for a quick one, two, three inning. Two dice rolls, three outs. Doesn't make much sense, does it? But I will take it. And we'll go to the top of the sixth inning. Reds up on top, three to nothing. Ken Griffey coming up for his third at bat. He is one for two on the day with a single and a run scored. Two, three, six. DB controller dynamic. No, is pitcher batting. No, and he's going to draw a walk. So Griffey on with his for the second time today. As Joe Morgan steps up, struck out his last time up. He is 0 for 2 on the day. 4-4-6, four, four, star, no, sad sack, utility patient. He is patient, and that's a called third strike, so Morgan out on strikes for the second time. And Johnny Bench steps up to the plate, had that big three-run home run earlier in the game, 3-5-6, right on riding. He's going to strike out this time around. Tony Perez up next. King Griffey is a neutral runner. They're going to try a little hit and run here with Perez. 1-4-5. Is pitcher struggler? No, but Perez is just going to ground out to the third baseman anyway for out number three. So the Reds get lead off on. Can't move him around. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning here. Reds up 3-0. And Louis Tiant is going to... Um, Let's see here. They need, who is their starter next game? That is Bill Lee. Uh, da, 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 da. Roger Moret is going to start warming up. I think Tion's day is done as he's given up three innings. And they need to, well, I think Bernie Carbo is going to go ahead and come on out and pinch hit. Louis Tion just has struggled against the Reds this entire series. Manager has seen enough as Carbo comes up. To pinch hit for Tiant. Two, four, five. Is he a hero? No, he's not. And he's going to pop out the second for a quick out number one. And we go to a, a player experience check for Cecil Cooper. Cooper is neutral. Gary Nolan is icon. Two, four. Icon batter? No, he's going to ground out to Concepcion at uh, shortstop. And Denny Doyle up to the plate next. Hit a single his last time up. 
156. Is he a whiffer? No, that's going to be an outfield drama check. 4-4 four, four is the center fielder iron. That is Geronimo. I do not believe so. No, he is gold. That's a running grab for a dramatic flyout for out number three. Geronimo has been putting on a show out there in center field today. He is wanting this World Series more than anyone today. And we go to the top of the seventh inning. Reds up three to nothing. And Louis Tiant is going to come on out. He gave up three. And Roger Moret is going to take his place here in the top of the seventh inning. The first batter he will face is the left fielder George Foster. Still hitless today. Whoa. One, three, six. Is he an ace? No. Is the batter whiffer or cold? He is semi whiffer. But the desired eye says no. We are past the fifth inning. He has not had a hit, so he is cold. Foster 0 for 3 on the day with a strikeout. And the shortstop, Davy Concepcion, had a single and a stolen base his last at bat. 3 3 6. Is pitcher ace or dynamic? No. Is batter sad sack, utility, or patient? No. He's going to single to center field for his second hit of the day. And we are going to go to a player experience check for Cesar Geronimo. Geronimo is semi-icon as well as Moret. 3-4. Prospect batter? No. Ground out number up the first baseline, but the runners are going to advance. So he's going to hit to Cooper, who's just going to take it himself and move Concepcion over to second with two outs. And the pitcher, Gary Nolan, coming on up to the plate. He's going to go ahead and stay in there. He's got a three to nothing lead, still has not given up a run, so he keeps the semi freshness for a little bit longer. Three, four, four. Is the pitcher prospect? No. The batter patient? No. And he's going to pop out to second base for the third out, so nothing doing. Right, another runner in scoring position. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning here. Gary Nolan keeps his, or I'm sorry, Roger Moret stays fresh for one more inning. It's Gary Nolan. Comes on out for his seventh inning of work. If he gets through this inning without giving up a run, he keeps the semi-freshness for another one. Carl Yastrzemski up to the plate, 0 for 2 on the day. Nolan's got to face the 3, 4, 5 batters this inning. 1, 1, 5. Is he fresh? The side eye says yes, and that's a pop-up to the second baseman. For a quick out, number 1. Carlton Fisk up to the plate. If Nolan get by him... He might be able to finish this game out. Three, four, six. Is the batter eager? No. And he's going to draw a walk. Fisk is a tough one. We go to a team chemistry check for Fred Lynn. Once again, Reds are semi-harmony. Boston is semi-dissonant. One, two. Is the batting team dissonant? The side eye says yes. That is a cold third strike on Lynn as Rico Petroselli steps up two ground outs to the pitcher today so he's just hoping to get the ball past the mound this time around five five six is he ace no batter sad sack no and he will do it as that is a double to right field fisk is i don't believe he is stoic nope he's going to go ahead and come around to score so the red sox they always seem to have one good inning where they come back could this be the one? As there's two outs and a runner on second base with a run in. As, as Dwight Evans comes up to the plate, this could be the spark that Boston needs. Fenway fans are up on their Boston fans here at Fenway are up on their feet. Ooh, one, three, five. That is a ballpark check. This could definitely do it as Fenway is small for right-handers, which Dwight Evans is. 3-6. Is it a ball, big ballpark? No, it is not. And that, instead of a bloop double into the right field gap, is going to be a running grab of a fly ball out. So we're going to go ahead and give that to Geronimo as he races over. 3-6. Um, big ballpark. 
into the right field gap. Uh, do I give to Geronimo or do I give to Griffey? Eh, we'll give to Griffey. Griffey races over there for the third out. Boston was up on, or uh, Fenway was up on its feet, thinking this could be the big inning they needed in order to get back in this ball game. But instead, Griffey was able to get to it for the third out. As we go to the top of the eighth inning, Roger Moret still out. Pete Rose set to lead things off. Reds up three to one here in game six. They win this game. They win it all. Three, three, six. Pitcher ace or dynamic? No. Is better sad sack utility or patient? No. And he's going to single to center field. So his first hit of the day, second time on base. As we go to a player experience check for Ken Griffey, Moret is semi-icon, Griffey is semi-prospect. 2-3, prospect pitcher, no. That's going to be a ground out to second base, but that's only going to be, that's going to be a fielder's choice. As they're unable to turn two, Griffey legs it out. And Joe Morgan up to the plate next, 0 for 3 on the day. Two strikeouts, uncharacteristic day for Morgan. 2-4-6, control, no. Eager sad sack, no. And he is going to draw a walk. So Griffey moves on to second. And we have runners at first and second here with one out and big Johnny Bench. Up next, two, four, six, base on ball. Okay, Johnny Bench had the big three-run home run. Can he do it again? Three, four, four. Pitcher prospect, no. Is the batter patient? No. He's going to pop out to second base. So, big sigh of relief through Fenway as they get bench out. And Tony Perez up next, one for three on the day. Singled in his second at bat. One, two, five. Is pitcher struggler? No. Batter patient? No. And Perez is going to strike out for out number three. So, once again, nothing for the Reds. As Moret becomes semi-fresh, we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Gary Nolan, his day is done. He's got a three-run lead out there. Who is going to be coming out for Cincinnati? I believe it's probably going to be Will McEnany, the lefty pitcher, even though we have a right. We're going to have okay, a right. We're going to have a pinch hitter and a lefty-lefty, so... Playing the numbers here as McEnany comes on to pitch here in the bottom of the eighth inning. First batter he's going to face is the shortstop, Rick Burleson, 0 for 2 on the day. 2, 3, 4. No runners on base. Is he a hot batter? No, he is not. And he's going to pop out there to uh, Rose there at third base. And a pinch hitter is going to be coming up for Boston as Jim Rice is going to go ahead and come on out of the dugout to face Will McEnany. 2-5-5 five, five. is a pitcher star. No, he is not. Is the batter home run king? No, that's going to be a fly out to left field for the second out. And first baseman Cecil Cooper Coming up to the plate, 0 for 3 on the day. 3, 4, 5. Iron catcher, no. Good eye, no. And he's going to strike out. So quick, 1, 2, 3 for Boston as they are running out of outs. We go to the top of the ninth. Red still up, 3 to 1. Will McEnany, semi-fresh. Roger Moret is going to go out. And... Um, da -da -da -da. I think Jim Burton, Jim Burton is going to go ahead and come on out to pitch. On top ninth to try to hold these Reds uh, scoreless. As Raleigh Eastwick is starting to warm up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Looking to close this game out. And the left fielder, George Foster, stepping up to face Jim Burton. 
Foster 0 for 3 on the day. 4-4-6. Four, four, is pitcher star? Yes, he is. And Foster is going to ground out to the second baseman. Four out number one. And Davey Concepcion coming up 2 for 3 on the day with two singles. 1-3-6. Is he an ace? No. Better whiffer or cold? He is neither. So that's going to be an infield drama check. 1-6 is the shortstop goal. That's going to be Rick Burleson. No, he is not. So that's going to be a sharp liner through short for a base hit. So Concepcion, three for four on the day. Three singles. Is he is semi-active. We're going to see if he gets his jump. Oh, oh. He gets his jump. He needs a three through eight in order to steal on Fisk, and he does not get it. He gets an 11. So Concepcion cut down on the stolen base, on the caught stealing. But we were trying, trying to get one in scoring position. As Cesar Geronimo comes up 0 for 3 on the day. Two outs here in the top of the ninth inning. 2-5-5 is five, five. a pitcher star. Yes, he is. Good, I know. That's going to be a strikeout. For the third out. And here we go. Bottom of the ninth inning, and Raleigh Eastwick coming up or coming out from the bullpen to face the two, three, four batters for Boston. Fenway getting loud as they try to cheer on their Red Sox in order to take this to a game seven. It is bottom of the ninth inning. Reds up three to one as Denny Doyle steps up to lead off the bottom of the ninth inning. One for three on the day with a single. One, five, six. Is he a whiffer? No, he is not. That's an outfield drama check. Two, six. Is the center fielder stoic? We know Cesar Geronimo is not stoic. We're going to check anyway. and He is not. Two, six. And he... Makes the grab for an out for a fast fading fly ball. A hush falls over Boston's faithful, but they start to get loud again as the first, uh, left fielder Carl Yastrzemski steps up to the plate. He is 0 for 3 on the day. If any other time he needs a hit, it is now. 2 5 5 is the pitcher a star? No. Is the batter home run king? No. And that is going to be a fly out. To Foster out in left field for out number two. Boston is down to their last out of this 1975 World Series as Carlton Fisk steps up to the plate. Drew Walk later scored his last time up. Here we go, folks. One, four, five. Is the pitcher a struggler? No. Carlton Fisk hits two. The first baseman Perez fields it, steps on first base. And this World Series belongs to the Reds. Exciting game for the Reds. Actually, exciting game for both of them. That was a good game. That's a, the lowest scoring game of the series so far. But the Reds win the 1975 World Series in six games. They win it four games to two. Great game. That was a lot of fun. But, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know AFR Steve, if he's out there watching, he's probably not enjoying it too much. Big, uh, big Boston fan. So if you're out there, Steve, and you're watching this, sorry about it, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, if you guys don't know it yet, make sure to check him out. He's got a great channel. Um, he's not paying me to say that. He's got a lot of great content on there. So anyway, guys, if you saw the image that showed up for this game, Make sure you comment, let me know where that image was, and I will make sure to pin you. So your winning pitcher for today was Gary Nolan. Let's take a look back. Louis Tiant, I believe he lost. Um, he took the loss in game four in Cincinnati and game one in Boston. So Louis Tiant, 0 for 3 in this World Series. Like I said, I think he won his two games, or at least he was, um, Boston won the games he started out pitching in real life. But anyway, fans, it's not his day today. 
I got another idea for the next World Series I'm planning on playing. Um, it's it's going to be the 1955 World Series. That's the other set that came with History Maker Baseball when it was purchased. So I'm really looking forward to that one. I have not played a game between, uh, play, have not played any of those games yet. So really looking forward to that. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, this series, I ask that you give that you hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further action. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great night.